Good afternoon and welcome to Trading Photos. We're sitting here today with the lovely Itana, who's just completed an excellent set on the stage of BB King, New York City, in the heart of Times Square. Itana, how did you feel about the show tonight? Um, it was great for what it is. It's a track show. Um, I'm known as a band artist, and I was a little um, concerned about, you know, what my fans would think. But I've seen a couple already, and they're they're happy. They were happy to see me, and that's what counts. Well, you know, by the response of the crowd, I would say that no matter what you do, they love you. They <laughs> sang along with every single song. But um, have you had to start your career doing track shows and then moving to do live bands? Or is this just a totally new experience for you? No, it's not new. I started off that way. And even um, in every year on Sting for like, what, five or six years, <laughs> I did track shows or... Um, band shows that were a little bit like that because it's you know but I've had experience before it's just that it's been a while since I've done tracks well I'd say you did an excellent job I know you sang a lot of music tonight very quickly yeah. um, did you sing anything from your new album I understand you're working on something new why don't you tell us a little bit about that um, of course you may know that the last album was released um, in 2015 called I Rise and um, I'm working on a new album now and that will be released two, actually it's two parts an acoustic album and a full album any chance you can give us a name on the album or is it a trade secret um no at first I had it in mind to call it Eclipse because it was two different kind of music there was roots on half of the album and then more of tempo stuff on another half. Mm -hmm. But then based on the recordings, I think that may change. But for now, it's Eclipse. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the word up tempo, and that made me think. Um, you are a wonderful reggae singer. Everybody loves you. Personally, I've always felt that you would make an excellent pop star. <laughs> Is there any pop in store for you in the near future? There's or any other type of um, <laughs> genre? There's a fusion. There's a fusion of um, pop, R&B, reggae mixed together on the track. So it's going to be a little bit different. That's why I said Eclipse, because it's half and half. Half real roots and then half um, something you may never have heard before. Oh, I'm, we're, I'm sure the audience is going to be looking forward to seeing, hearing something that we've never heard before from yeah. Itana because we, you've given us so much so far. So what about you in, in your personal life? I understand you just had a baby, another baby. Tell yeah, us my, about... My daughter is six months now, five months going on six. Mm -hmm. And um, and every time I say it, people go, wait, what, what? <laughs> when did that happen, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but I... I wore big clothes. I performed just the same. I hit it because um, I remember the last time when I was so brave and bold and bright about my four-year-old when I was pregnant at the time and I said, oh, I'm going to have a baby. And, and I remember um, everything just kind of went to a standstill. And the explanation that we got like a year later was, oh, we thought that you were taking time off because you had a baby. So instead of people getting so involved in my personal life, thinking that they should decide when I go back to singing again, I just kept it quiet the whole time. Okay. Well, you certainly didn't show, and I saw you last summer, and you had a great performance in Brooklyn at Wingate High, and I think you were barely showing, and you must have been ready to pop at around that time. Yeah. But um, how is it being a, a, a wife, a mother, um, a top recording artist? Is it difficult or what's, your, what's the greatest challenge that you face? My greatest challenge that I face is just leaving um, my children when I have to go to work. Um, that's always the hardest thing. Do you cry over that? Sometimes if I'm away for a long time, sometimes. Um, but I do what I have to do because, you know, um, would I do anything different? Would I not do music if no? So I just have to do what I have to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I agree with you, yeah. Itana. Um, you know, people would say that unless you're at your best, you cannot raise your children to be their best. You're their example. Yeah. So you have to be you, and that exactly. is very important. So is there anything that you'd like to tell us about your upcoming tours? I know uh, this tour has been very popular, um, Forever Reggae. And um, is it a concept that uh, you developed a long time ago, or is it something new? I know the title works. <laughs> no, I think reggae music is forever. Um, and my manager at the time thought that it would be a good idea to um, call the tour um, Reggae Forever because, as I said, it's forever music. Yes. And we will be forever touring, so, you know, I, I think it worked perfectly, and I think it always will. I, next year, when we have the new album, it will be Reggae Forever Tour, the whatever the name the album name name is edition you know okay. yeah so we'll just keep rolling with reggae forever tour keep touring oh that's a wonderful idea and that is something that i know i'll be looking forward to as well as the fans um is there anything you'd like to add to this interview today etana well i want to say thank you to all my people from who've been supporting me from uh the strong one album from we don't want no trouble to i'm not afraid all the way up to now the fourth album um, I Rise, that means we went through Strong One, Better Tomorrow, Free Expressions, and all the way to I Rise and to the new album as well, number five. You know, big ups to all of you, even in my hardest days when, you know, I had drama, had it for the first time, and panicked and talked a lot, you know. <laughs> you were there through all of it, and I'm so grateful for all of you. I love you. One perfect, unconditional love. Well, blessed love, Etana, and thank you so much for taking the time to give us this interview. I'm Grace Van Real for Trading Photos today, and um, we want to say a big, big up to BB King's New York City for bringing a high-quality act like Etana, the strong one, to the uh, Times Square area in New York City. Thank you, and have a good evening. Perfect love. Make sure you stay in touch with me on Facebook, One Etana, and Twitter, Etana Strong One, E T A N A S T R O N G O N E. Um, that's One Etana, O N E, E T A N A. Stay in touch. I love you. No, I, I'm not afraid. If them I come, let them come. I'm protected by the most I want. I'm Etana, and you're locked into trading photos. Keep it locked. I asked the music, they're boom shot.